It's getting to be that time of year. The frost is on the pumpkin. A sure sign it's time to put your meat in the smokehouse for the winter. Meat won't hurt nobody. Uh, ain't no way you proof me and meat hurt anybody. They say it causes this and causes that. I tell you right now, it's uh, the big trouble with people eating today is what's got all this here trouble. They've got these hospitals. They're not eating the right stuff. Do you ever know everything you eat, you eat stuff that makes hair grow on you, oh, makes your fingernails grow. Well, if you fail to eat that stuff, that part of your body ain't going to grow, buddy. And if you fail to eat enough stuff to keep that body existing, it ain't going to exist. Let me see. Can I see your knife? Drop it down on there one time. Oh, that's clean as glass. Yeah. You got to get every one of these hairs off. Oh yeah. When was the first time you ever killed a hog? Oh, Lord of mercy, huh? I killed hogs. It wasn't big enough. When you had when when you put the water in the barrel and heat rocks and put it in the barrel to heat the water. You push your hog down in there and pull him out the hind leg. Now one like that out there had been a little trouble with two or three men, buddy. You wouldn't handle one like that. That people just killed pigs back then. <laughs> And any time after the 15th of November, kill your meat. Yeah. You don't worry about it, Raven. This is your backbone, or that, your ribs. That'll be the pork ribs. Pork ribs. This is your tenderloin. Goes clean through on both of them. And that other thing there's the backbone. How long you been cutting these like this? Oh, I've worked these all my life. Ever since they're big enough. Now do you just do it when folks folks come by and ask you, or do you do theirs, or? Yeah, they tip them out. Well, when it's salted down on that table, it'll stay there six weeks. And then when it comes up from there, it's washed. Wash it. Wash all the salt off of it. Then we take wood ashes and sprinkle it with ashes to keep uh, bugs and flies and stuff off of it. Then when it goes through that process, while well, you hang it up, and you don't have to worry about it to get ready to eat it. Now, ain't nothing smelled any better than that, buddy. No wonder people have to go to the hospital every three months and get vitamins and stuff like that. They ain't eating enough of it out here in the country. That's what's wrong with them. <laughs> neighbor helping neighbor. It's still happening in these mountains. And because of it, there's always plenty to eat around Ray Shuler's house. The harvest provides meat 365 days a year. It provides sausage, lard, even soap. Ray says the only thing that isn't used is the squeal. 